Assalamu alaikum. Today we're gonna start our first lecture for this course, and uh, st we'll start from chapter one, talking about the units and some standard related to the measurement. Uh, we are willing to understand and distinguish between the SI unit and English unit, and uh, we're gonna learn how to convert from SI unit to English unit and vice versa and later on we're gonna learn how to derive unit in their base unit by using the SI tree of units and besides that we're gonna learn a different technique how to convert from unit to the other unit but before that we're gonna start to some introduction about the course uh, to learn what we're gonna expect from this course uh, there is some quote said by Galileo Galilei. He said that measure what can be measured and make measurable what cannot be measured. Or in Arabic, قس ما يقاس واجعل ما ما لا يقبل القياس قابل للقياس. So we can say that uh, uh, in nature there is some physical quantity we cannot we can measure it by some available tool. For example, if I want to measure the length, I'm gonna use ruler. This is measurable, but there is some uh, other quantity. We don't have actual tool for it, but we can drive uh, uh, a tool to help us to measure the quantity of this physical phenomena. So, for example, the amount of the air in, uh, in the planet. Uh, there is so there is no direct tool, but we can make other tool based on different uh, physical phenomena to help us to measure the amount of air, for example. So talking about instrumentation and measurement, you can see that these two terms come together because they are complete each other. So instrumentation basically is just the tools or devices to help uh, us to describe the physical phenomena in nature in order to quantify it and use it for a de de desired application. We have many examples of instrumentation. Uh, a typical example, as we, uh, as I said earlier, ruler to measure the length, uh, thermostat to measure the temperature, uh, and you can imagine different kind of uh, instrument that will help us to uh, measure this quantity. So, uh, either a tool or uh, a device. So both are considered as an instrument. Measurement is just a representation of this physical quantity based on some agreed standards. So this is basically what we're gonna focus on in this course. We're gonna learn some physical quantities like pressure, temperature, uh, level. Uh, yeah, this is like the most three. Uh, we're gonna. Um, um, and to study it in this course and we're gonna learn different instruments to help us to measure these quantities but before starting uh, going in deep in the instrument itself let's try uh, to understand what are the units used to measure these quantities so there is uh, two type of system for the unit the first one is international system, which is SI uh, system, and the other one is English or imperial system, and this is a table to describe the difference between uh, both of the unit. So as we uh, know length, we measure it uh, by meter, mass we measure it uh, by kilogram, this is the agreed standard uh, internationally. But you can see that in uh, you can see that in the English unit they using different uh, unit which is bound, but this is not uh, uh, used all around the globe, only in some certain country like uh, England, uh, U.S., and some other country uh, following the same uh, way of how you the U.S. and U.K. using this quantity. Uh, this is just kind of agreement uh, there is no uh, actual difference 
maybe there is uh, some advantage uh, of some unit over the other maybe some others having more accuracy having more uh, 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 range of data uh, to describe but by the end of the day we agree on some unit to describe uh, some quantities like the length mass so whenever I want to measure the length I can measure it by meter what meter it, uh, it means in real life so uh, if I want to see this agreement there is some museum uh, I'm not sure where, where, it, where is it maybe in France uh, holding some tools uh, having some certain uh, length this length uh, they agree on it to call it a uh, meter uh, the same way of kilogram although they have uh, uh, they announced like two years ago to that the, the uh, physical representation for this amount in the museum are uh, not uh, accurate enough to describe uh, the mass so there is some disagreement now or there is some uh, uh, changing in their uh, agreement in the definition of the mass but this is not our uh, matter but if you're interested uh, in this topic you can just uh, uh, search on it on the internet to see what the object that weight kilogram that all, all, the, uh, all the globe uh, agree on this unit similar way we have like weight which is the force time we measure it by second this is the most uh, well known uh, parameter or physical uh, phenomena that we measure it temperature some country using uh, different scales we gonna learn it by the time but by the end of the day we can see that or we can see that this we have in two system one is uh, uh, dominant over the other and both of this system are gonna help us to uh, find the, how to describe the physical phenomenon so uh, why we need to convert from system to other system because uh, as we said different country using different unit if I am uh, uh, for example, if you go to the US and you want to know the temperature of the day, they are not using Celsius, Celsius uh, uh, unit as we using here. They're using Fahrenheit unit, which is having different uh, scale of, of uh, measurement of the temperature. So in this case, you have to know how to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius in order to know what's the temperature now. So. Uh, uh, for example, if you having, uh, uh, if you go to the US, you find that the temperature there is like 70, 60. Doesn't mean like uh, as we having here in Saudi Arabia, we have a different way to convert this number in uh, the other system that the, the system that we are using uh, in order to know what's the equivalent value uh, from. Fahrenheit and Celsius in order to know uh, how much uh, the, how much the temperature now so this is typically why we needing uh, converting units from other units although there is many application for the converting unit and unit and most of the engineers know this uh, kind of system and they have to learn how to convert from unit to other unit before uh, going in deep uh, uh, converting units from other units let's agree on some prefixes using uh, before the unit so what we mean by prefixes it means like the letter before the unit itself so we have a kilogram the actual uh, uh, unit is not kilogram it's gram gram uh, come before it kilo which is equal to 1000 or 10 to the power 3 so this letter K it means that I am using uh, 
uh, number to represent the zeros uh, multiply by some certain unit. So prefix is just simply uh, the number of zero uh, to be written. So instead of writing the number as a whole, so let's say that uh, if I'm having like 1000 kilo. Uh, Gram. So you can see that you can see that 1,000 is taking space to writing on uh, to writing it. So rather of the, uh, doing that, I'm gonna uh, confer this thousand. Uh, so maybe let's make it clear. Uh, this is the original uh, unit, which is gram. So if you have having 1,000 gram. Uh, rather than writing the amount in gram, I can write it easily in kilogram to represent the number very nicely and more readable. So this is like the idea of using prefixes to help us to write the number represented, uh, understand it quickly, read it quickly. Yeah. So this is the common prefixes we have. We have kilo equal to 10 to power 3. Milli, which is the uh, small version of kilo. So this is 10 to power minus 3 or uh, 1 uh, over 1000. Micro, much smaller. This is like different scale, minus 6. So imagine that I'm, I'm using a microscope to measuring very tiny uh, things. I'm not obviously using a kilo or the base measurement unit. So I'm measuring some small distance. It's, uh, you're gonna see it's nightmare to read the numbers by uh, if I'm having very small thing. So you can see that how useful using this prefixes. Mega is like to 10 to power 6. Nano, 10 to power minus 9. Giga and so on. Um, and if I don't have uh, any uh, prefixes before the original unit, it means that uh, I'm using the base, which is 10 to power 1. Or you can see it easy, easily by mathematic equal to 1. So I'm just multiplying this unit by 1. I'm using the unit at, uh, as it is. So, how to convert from prefixes to other prefixes? There is some general quick rule will help us to convert from these prefixes. If you're converting from uh, big uh, unit to other uh, smaller unit, you need to multiply. And if you convert from small to big, you will need to divide. If you want to convert um, twice then you have to multiply two times uh, but this is like traditional way to convert from unit to other unit maybe you learn it in high school myself once uh, I learned this uh, uh, technique I just imagine that as brother in your family you can say that uh, the big brother hits the smaller brother so I'm using multiplication ضرب بالعربي الأخ الكبير يضرب الصغير تسهل الحفظ الصغير إذا عنده شيء يقسمها لأخوه الكبير so this is different way how to memorize it but this is like very traditional way and most of the time you're gonna see how confusing using this technique to convert from unit to other unit so if I'm converting from mega to milli for example you're gonna see that I have to multiply by thousand three times and this is take times. So we have different way to convert from unit to other unit. This way is much easier just following this step. So if converting from megagram to kilo kilogram, uh, then you just need to write down the old unit uh, with the arrow to the new unit. So for example, I'm writing here megagram to kilogram. Then just take the prefixes 
and uh, write down the its original value which is 10 to power 6 kilo 10 to power 3 after that just take the powers just get rid of the 10 then you can see that and find the difference between uh, this powers subtracting you find that equal to 3 this 3 you you will take it raise it to the power 10 and multiply it by the number before the unit so just ignore this unit and multiply it by the new power and you can find it equal to uh, 20k gram so this is my mistake this is, should be gram yeah this is one easy way and uh, we have another way and this is much convenient and uh, suitable to use even if you have different kind of units uh, we can uh, safely convert from uh, one unit to other unit by following this this is also you can follow it if you converting from system of unit to other system and you can see it easily uh, by just following this step uh, so rather than multiplying by thousand or doing uh, some steps looking for the power for the tens I'm gonna write down the unit this is most working with the unit that having ratios even though uh, if you don't have ratio it's gonna work as long as you understand the basic of this idea so uh, you can convert from kilometers per hour to meters per second uh, by knowing some information uh, of uh, the equivalent value for each unit so I'm knowing that kilometer one kilometer is equal to meter uh, 1000 meter this is well known by uh, the prefixes that we talk about it already uh, one hour uh, how much is equal to uh, if you want to convert it in second if you do some calculation so you know that one minute is equal 60 and we have 60 minutes in the one hour so much 60 multiplied by 60 is 3600 seconds so this is well known uh, uh, definition so one hour is equal to 3600 seconds so once come to converting uh, you're gonna just divide 1000 uh, by the three six hundred uh, thousand and you can find the new value and this is the equivalent in meter per second but let's try to be careful which one I'm gonna put in the uh, numerator or the upper side of the fraction and which one I'm gonna put in the numerator or the lower part of the fraction so this way of doing the conversion we gonna convert by other fractions Uh, so this example maybe gonna illustrate the idea of how to convert from unit to unit if I want to uh, convert from three, three kilometer to meter so I'm having only simple conversion from kilometer to meter and you have different way to convert but let's try to using the fraction way the system here you can say that write the conversion as a fraction so this is the first step then multiply then cancel any unit are both uh, top and bottom this is like the very basic idea how to convert from unit to other unit so if I know that uh, 1000 meter is equal to 1 kilometer this is well known I already know it I don't have uh, uh, to prove it since this is uh, obvious and uh, trivial uh, if you divide this uh, unit by the, this unit you're gonna see that it's equal to 1 why it's equal to 1 because 1000 meter is the same of 1 kilometer so uh, dividing the number by itself gonna equal to 1 obviously so I'm not doing anything I'm just defining the number as itself this is the trick of uh, knowing the fraction so writing the uh, 
the equivalent of this number in fraction rather than uh, convert each one separately so this is I know it one kilometer one kilometer equal one thousand sorry I'm facing problem with the writing with the mouse maybe later I'm gonna use some then so this is I already know it one kilometer equal one thousand uh, by doing some math I can divide both side of one thousand meters and this is obviously gonna equal to one or the other way around so either you divide one kilometer here and one kilometer and you can see that's equal to one or you can divide here one thousand meter by one thousand meter uh, equal to one so which sides uh, uh, both are working uh, but since we are converting from kilo to meter so once to, to come uh, once comes to writing the fraction I prefer to make the old uh, uh, unit in the denominator or downside of the fraction so I'm gonna use this uh, formula or this equation uh, as a fraction uh, and make sure that the kilometer in the denominator or downside of the fraction. So when either I once comes uh, to conversion, I just take this uh, fraction as a whole, multiply it by the old number, and obviously you can see that you see you can see that I'm having kilometer down, I'm having kilometer up. So just this cancel with this, and I just left with the numbers and with the new unit and this is equivalent to 3000 meter so you can see that easily once you understand the trick uh, just write down the equivalent of both of the unit or the unit the old one to the new one what's the equivalent uh, I know then try to make sure that I'm gonna get rid of uh, the old one so I have to make it downside or uh, if it uh, if I'm having a different kind of unit I have to make it in the top by the example you're gonna understand it uh, quickly so uh, Yeah, I just explained that you just cancel this with this and the answer here is 3000 so this is more uh, detail about it I just this is continuation of the previous example let's take another example to understand it better so by exercise it may be clear uh, so let's try to convert uh, 10 kilogram to milligram uh, by using the traditional way you convert it from big to small so you need to multiply by thousand but how much how many times so if you convert from go to kilo uh, which is 10 to power minus uh, sorry 10 to power 3 multiply by thousand you're gonna move you to the base so you need to multiply again by thousand in order to go to milli so basically I need to multiply 10 by thousand twice and this is the answer for it Then multiply by 10 to power 6 which is uh, having huge number now I want to convert uh, 30 uh, mile per hour into feet per second in order to do the conversion you have to know the uh, the units go with the 
similar unit so this is time time go with time and the length go with length uh, another uh, idea you have to know is the equivalent of each one of them so as we discussed earlier hour is equal one hour is equal to 3600 uh, most of the time this uh, idea we're gonna be given don't worry about memorizing it but uh, hours I think it's uh, very obvious since you already know that I'm assuming that but by the end of the time there is some clue we're gonna give in for each question to help you to find the or to do the conversion so I uh, by some table, it says that one mile equal to 5,880 feet. So I mean, no, I know the equa equation or the equivalent for both of the unit. Now I'm gonna convert it to the fraction in order to get rid of the miles. So I'm gonna convert from miles to feet. How to get rid of the miles? So if I write down this unit separately without the numbers this is how it look like the miles in the numerator so I'm just writing miles because to distinguish between mile and meter and here our downside or the numerator so this is for this one mile per hours how to write the the new unit I want to convert to feet per second so you can see that I'm having mile at the top of the fraction or the uh, numerator and I'm having the hour downside of the fraction or the denominator so how to get rid of the mile I have to make sure that the mile downside so once come to multiplication I need to make sure that mile is down why is that because I want to cancel this mile and I'm gonna lift up with the one equivalent to this mile so feet is this number 5880 uh, and I have to write it down as this fraction similar way if I want to get rid of the hours again I just multiply, multiply. so doing this multiplication actually in calculation doing nothing only just I'm multiplying by one because as we agree earlier this fraction as a whole is equal to one since they are equivalent to each other but I'm writing down as this way because it help me to get rid of the old uh, unit so to get rid of the uh, hour I may I need to write the fraction as hour should be up and second should be down so by the end of the day I'm lifting with the feet up and second down so this is the idea how to convert from unit to unit very easily so to see the answer I'm knowing this information so they are writing it as we explain and I now I can now eliminate the one on the top with the one on the bottom same way with the hour and just then multiply the numbers by the calculator and they're gonna give, give us the final answer which is 44 feet per second let's have some uh, other example to make sure this idea is clear uh, so I'm converting from 1000 kilogram per meter cube to bound per feet cube so I'm converting from SI unit to British 
unit. How to do that? Again, you have to know the equivalent for each unit. So this is mass. This is mass. I have to know the equivalent for it. If I don't know it, it's gonna gonna be given for me. So if you might say I didn't uh, uh, memorize it, so most of the time this is gonna be given to you. Uh, unless if you ask to memorize some certain values. So this is the equivalent for bond into, into kilogram and for feet into meter. Now this information, now I know I have to write the fraction. So the old unit I'm having here is kilogram per meter cube. Uh, so be careful when we having uh, cube or square uh, unit because this uh, uh, powers we're gonna uh, uh, we're gonna ask us to do more steps as we're gonna see so I know now I want to get rid of the kilo so to get rid of the kilo I have to make it downside or the end the denominator and what's the equivalent for kilogram in the other in the new unit which is pound just write down one pound here 0.45 kilo now if I want to go to convert from meter to feet here I'm having meter cube not meter so be careful about it uh, so I need to know the equivalent for cubic meter to cubic feet how to know that so I'm knowing that one feet equal point three five meter uh, to find the cube I have to cube this side also cube this side so I have to multiply uh, this number by itself three times or raise it to the power of three Then you can find the number. One cube is already one, so I'm having here. Uh, rather than this uh, equation, I need to do some other calculation to find out the new fraction. But which one I'm gonna put up once uh, I find the value for this number? I have to make sure that the meter cube up because I want to get rid of it and the uh, feet down there. Then I just eliminate the, yeah, the one on the top with the one on the bottom for each fraction in order to find the final answer. So looking for the correct answer. By the way, in my case, I'm not consider, I don't care about the value or the result as long as you understand the idea. So maybe. Uh, Sometimes you can see that my calculation is wrong, but doesn't matter as you uh, as you understand the idea, because the calculator is gonna do the calculation. So this is I know it it's given to me. I need to take the cube for it, and this is the equivalent in the cube. So I'm not taking this as a fraction. I need to take the cube. Or the one to press to the three. Then I write down the odd unit as we explain, and this is the numbers. Then you just multiply, cancel the one with the top with the bottom, and this is the final answer we're gonna be. 
I hope this is clear. Uh, it needs uh, 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 focusing once it comes to converting unit to unit. Uh, the most uh, problem with this uh, conversion is what's the equivalent in the other unit. If you don't know this uh, information, you're gonna have problem. But as I said as earlier, most of the time this is gonna be given. So don't worry to memorize it. Uh, unless if you're giving some uh, table to memorize. But in my class, I didn't ask you to memorize it. So moving on, uh, on the unit. So until now, we just uh, try to convert the unit from system to other system. Learn some technique. We have different uh, techniques. You can use whatever you like. But as we agree, uh, uh, as we see, the most convenient one is the fraction. Try to exercise on it, uh, practice, and to understand it. If you have any question related to it, maybe you can ask me through the telegram. Now let's go to the second part of this uh, lecture, which is the base and drive unit. So as we talk uh, at the beginning of this course, we have some physical phenomena. Each physical phenomena have some certain unit to describe. Uh, uh, and some other unit uh, or some other measurement, as Galilea said, it's, it's not direct. It's, it need to based on some uh, other unit in order to find the new measurement so the base unit we have like the two definition here we have base unit and drive unit drive unit uh, drives from a different a different combination based on some base unit and it's following some physical formula so this physical formula is found by the physicist we didn't uh, uh, study this here. We aren't concerning about how to derive uh, the, the new unit from the base unit. Uh, to know the, which one is the base, we having for the SI unit seven units considered as a base to describe the uh, the physical phenomena uh, in our uh, nature. So this is like the seven base unit the first one is the meter so the meter I, I just using some uh, object as I explained earlier to uh, uh, estimate what we mean by meter same way of kilogram we have some object medium to, to consider it as a base of our uh, calculation of the uh, mass ampere this is we're gonna see it an uh, electrical circuit this is considered as the base unit for uh, the current or the uh, speed of the charges which is uh, we're gonna see it in the moment Kelvin this is considered as the SI unit for the temperature not Celsius that we using not the Fahrenheit the US using we use this kind of unit for scientific and uh, engineering uh, problem so once come to SI unit we're gonna use the Kelvin for the temperature and this is the base unit for the temperature second obviously for the time and mole for uh, uh, very small quantities or atomic uh, quantities this is more related to chemistry we don't focus on it in this course or in our major uh, at all uh, the most uh, known one uh, or the most one that we're gonna use is the first six but this seven one considered as a base because we cannot drive it from other unit what do you mean by drive unit uh, so we have some law which help us to find uh, a new quantity this quantity it have a different unit so 
to find uh, the drive unit from the base we have some si3 unit oh sorry uh, we left with the candela this is to measure the uh, uh, the light uh, luminous again this is not uh, uh, used a lot so as long you understand know the base unit uh, which is uh, the seven uh, we agree on to help us to find the drive unit so in summary maybe you can summarize this uh, slide uh, I'm having some base unit uh, and also I'm having drive unit this drive unit will base on some physical law uh, to uh, uh, help us to measure a new quantity so after knowing the difference between the base unit and drive unit I can draw tree that connect all the unit to each other and how each how it, they are relating to each other so uh, we have different symbols we have different arrows each arrow is representing some meaning so uh, as we agree at the beginning we have seven uh, base unit meter kilogram second ampere kelvin mole and candela so this is the seven base unit and you can see they are represented as rectangle with a circle inside so this is the base unit this is what i have in uh, na nature or museum uh, and it consider as a measurement for this quantity uh, using some physical law uh, some ph to explain the different phenomena like pressure, power, work, uh, charges, uh, for example, uh, Celsius, degrees, uh, we're going to use some formula to help us to find the new derived, form, uh, new derived unit in order to uh, understand the relation between it and the base unit. So base unit, again, just tell us the relation between uh, some uh, base uh, quantities uh, and we can relate this relation by some physical or some uh, symbol formula so let's agree on some this is the symbol here in the trees uh, the rectangle here is the base the triangle here is supplementary unit this is not used most of the time but gonna help us to convert from unit to other unit but this is not meaning a physical thing this is just a mathematical representation of some value so radian is just the angular the angle how to measure the angle you can see that angle doesn't uh, ha has no meaning in uh, f f uh, real life uh, or physical uh, as a physical thing it's just a way of representing the angle, the wire. Uh, this is actually I don't know it, so maybe we don't consider it. Most of the time we're gonna consider uh, well-known definition, well-known unit. The circle here it means that I'm having drive unit, so I'm using drive drive unit. So any circle means this unit is derived from previous unit and the previous one is derived from uh, the base. So all coming back to the base and all of the units is somehow related to these seven base, base unit and this can be represented by some calculation. This calculation you can see it by the arrow. So if I'm having uh, solid line or no dash uh, lines it means that I'm gonna multiply uh, the previous one to get the new one so for example uh, let's talk about the Pascal which is the one here 
So Pascal, in order to get it, you have to multiply uh, the, uh, this unit and divide by this unit. So I'm gonna multiply by Newton and divide it by meter square. Both are, although both of them not uh, dry, so we still have a further step to go back to the base unit. So this is like the idea of uh, how to represent the drive unit to the base unit rather than using uh, another drive unit. I want to write the Pascal in uh, the seven base unit. How to do that? You have to follow the trees and you want to make sure uh, about the arrows in order to find the right uh, representation in base unit. And by the end of the day, you can see the relations uh, between the base unit how to, uh, in order to find the Pascal. So as we agree at the beginning, uh, we have two coming arrow to the Pascal in order to get the Pascal. So the first one coming from Newton. So I need to multiply by Newton in order to get Pascal. Second one from coming from meter square. So I need to divide by meter square to get Pascal. So this is the first uh, idea here or the first information that I come out from uh, this tree but again I'm not done with the task here I need to go back further so I, I have to go look for the Newton alone and see how it's related to the base and also I gotta do the same thing for meter square so this is the uh, first uh, step that I have uh, I will have from the this tree to get Pascal. So now, after uh, we find Pascal from the uh, SI tree, uh, we find that it's uh, coming from Newton as a multiplication and uh, division by meter square uh, to find Pascal. So. Uh, Later on, uh, we can ask ourselves, did we reach the base unit, which is meter, the seven unit that we have? Uh, obviously, no, because I'm having Newton, and Newton is not the base. And if you look back for the tree, you can see that we can see that uh, we didn't reach it yet. So I need to look for the Newton alone, how it's uh, how it drives from the base unit, and need to go uh, also to go to look for the meter square along how to get meter square based on the base unit obviously this is very straightforward i'm having meter square so i multiply meter by itself so this is nothing just multiplying meter square and somehow i find it uh, uh, I'll drive it from the base. So I just put this in mind and uh, don't look for it because it's already written in the base. Now our, my concern is more related to the new team because this is not written in the base unit. If you look back to the table, you can find that the new team is originally coming from one arrow as a multiplication from kilogram and other arrow coming as a multiplication by meter the third arrow coming from se second square as division and this is the uh, formula that we get from the SI tree you have to look back for it in order to make sure you're following the right procedure or not if you don't uh, get this answer so you have to uh, Relook again and make sure that you're taking this answer for the Newton. So now I found the Newton as a base unit since kilogram base unit, meter is base unit, second square, although it's not base unit, but second itself is uh, a base, 
and square just multiply by itself uh, again so putting uh, all together I put uh, I, I replace what I found in the Newton by what I uh, but what I have here as a numerator and numerator try to be careful about uh, the numerator and numerator for each one of them so in this case I'm having the numerator in Pascal at uh, I'm having in the numerator Newton or the top of the fraction here and I didn't have nothing here and for the second term I'm having meter square downside here or the numerator so this is the base formula that I get out from uh, Pascal then I need to replace what I found from M so the whole thing here for N gonna be put it at the numerator so I'm having kilogram in the numerator uh, I'm having meter square in the uh, or meter in the numerator S the second square should be in the denominator because uh, this is more related to mathematics uh, derivation so you have to be careful about how to deal with the fractions so maybe if it's easier n is equal to kilogram meter if you look at it as a fraction sorry here it's supposed to be seconds So you can see that the kilogram meter are uh, having the same level of Newton. So you can replace the Newton by this two without any problem, kilogram meter. And you left with the second square. Second square is not at the same level of the Newton. So it should be down. So it should be down if you want to write it so this is what we have kilogram second sorry second square yes and meter so this is the uh, value what we get from newton now we left with the uh, this part of uh, of Pascal which is a division by meter square so by collecting all the formula together as a basis we left with some similar uh, uh, unit in the numerator and the numerator so we just need to cancel uh, both of the unit so in order to cancel maybe you have to follow some mathematical trick uh, one of the mathematical trick if you have uh, the same base so this is more related to math if I'm having like uh, let's say X as a base and downside I'm having X to power N how to uh, represent this or how to simplify this there is some power law say that if you have in division by the same base so I'm having here x as a base x as a base you can simplify it easily by subtracting the one in the numerator with the denominator so if you have no power it means that I'm having one so the, the simplification easily equal to one minus n in our case here the base is the base is M the base here is M I'm having here 1 I'm having here 2 so I just subtract uh, from each other and this is what we get M so this is answer with this So 
so maybe I need to write it down different area so m m square so I'm just looking for the bases the same bases so in this case we have m minus 1 following this simplification so rather than writing uh, the uh, quantity to power minus we again having uh, uh, simplification method in math or in algebra uh, to help us with the calculation if you have any base to the power minus 1 it means that it's equal to 1 over m so easily here I'm having here 1 m 2 m I can just subtract one of this m and I'm lifting with m 1 m uh, down second square since I don't have any uh, seconds up so it's it stay as it is and kilogram the same way stay as it is and this is the uh, Pascal in the unit base this is another way how to present it so anything down you just uh, move, moving up with a minus uh, power to the minus so I'm having 2 and just raise it to the minus 2 yeah this is more related to mathematics algebra how to convert and so simplify as long as you understand the idea of uh, going from the derived unit to the base unit looking by looking for uh, the SI3 you can see that it's very easily uh, done and this is will gonna be easy by the time so this is the answer let's take another exercise to make it clear uh, we have here three exercises uh, I need to go to look for the SI unit for each one of them and looking back from uh, each unit you can say that a farad is a unit of measuring the capacitor so and they found it uh, as this formula how are they getting this formula by looking from the SI3 yeah SI3 uh, then I'm having here C which is column voltage the both of them are drives I need to go for each one of them, of them in the SI3 to convert it to the base which is here equal to the ampere multiplied by a second so this is base I stop here uh, voltage is just work divided or sorry watt divided by ampere so I'm having here uh, ampere I'm having ampere I'm having uh, S but I'm lifting with the what what is not a base unit I need to look for the what how to drive it to the base but uh, maybe this is interesting fraction how to simplify it in mathematics or mathematics so if I'm having like three fractions or three layers of fractions this is easily done uh, by taking the most lower one moving moving up to the first layer so this is by mathematic uh, uh, see, we, we can't prove it but uh, I want to make it easier for you to deal with this kind of uh, layers of the fraction so I'm having three layers the most easy way just move the most one on the, uh, on the bottom to the first floor so by the end of conversion you can see that I'm multiplying A with A 
and I'm having s as the numerator and divided by what? a multiplied by a I'm having a square s what? so I don't care now about the one in the numerator I'm only looking for the w or the what? Uh, how to write down uh, how to write it as a base function uh, base unit so continuing the example we left with the what so I'm having a farad equal a square multiply by second divided by what I need to find what in base unit how to find that you have to look back for the SI3 so looking in the SI3 you you will find this relation joule per second so this is joule I can separate it these two fraction since second is already uh, base unit so I didn't look it uh, at it uh, look at it I only look how to write down the joule in the base unit looking uh, on the SI3 for joule you can find this relation so I can replace J with this formula since they are in the same level And this is obviously divided by one. Don't forget the S. But now I didn't finish yet. I need to find out the relation for uh, the base unit for uh, Newton, which is as we find it previously. The previous example equal to kilogram meter square per per second square. So. I can replace this N let's separate each letter alone so N divided by 1 and I can just join this together so N is equal to this whole uh, unit kilogram second square and I'm having here meter yes. so then touch this I just write it as it is now I just uh, join the similar uh, unit together if I'm having uh, one at the top and one at the, at the bottom and you just cancel but since I don't have I only am having meter uh, two meter at the uh, numerator so just add the power the same way here add the power and the answer for uh, the J now we uh, converting W yeah if I want to go back to W this is what W gonna equal to kilogram square S Q now I'm having W as a base unit I'm having uh, Farad uh, writing in this way I only just I only need to write down W uh, as a base unit here to find out the farad as a base unit so how to do that just keep this as it is I hope this is not messy how you are falling up
So I just separate these two uh, fractions in order to write down the W as a base unit. So continuing on uh, writing the farad as a base unit, I just need to flip what I am having in the numerator for the W, put it down, and what I have in the numerator, put it up. Since I'm only just take the receptacle of W, and this is what I'm gonna write or yeah, multiply it to find the far farad a square s. So this is I don't touch it here. I just take s up, s a q up, and k g m down. So by the end of the day, this is equal to a square s four kilogram meter. I prefer to go to find the most best unit. Then you go back until to find the final answer for your uh, uh, draft unit. So we have different way to do it. In his, in this case, he replaced the W as J divided by S. Then put the S with the A and replace the J with its formula. And you can see that very messy formula. And this is the final answer as we found together. Oh, I'm missing with square of m. Yeah, maybe we can follow it to find the mistake. Yeah, this is the uh, way how to find the uh, drive unit uh, as a base unit. And it, meet, it needs uh, much focus to do this kind of exercises. So this is the final answer. You may double check with what I did and you can uh, note what, I'm, what I miss uh, uh, that we didn't find the same answer. I think I'm missing with some m to uh, multiply but it should be the same answer in either way so this is uh, our lecture for this week uh, I hope you practice on such an uh, example or exercise related to this uh, topic it's, it's, that's just a matter of practice as you can see and following up uh, the and connecting the idea how to deal with this kind of question